I told you about a man that lived in the city that I lived in before I was born by the name of Charlie Pease. He was the Al Capone of our nation. He raped, he robbed, he did every devilish thing. And the cops couldn't get him, but once they got him, he was sentenced to death in the city where I lived. And the judge said to him, you hang by the neck until you die, and God have mercy on your soul. Charlie Pease was put in a cell with a guard watching him every moment, because in English law at that time, a man was given 20, 21 days, three weeks, what was called amendment of life or repentance. And he was guarded day and night so he didn't commit suicide and beat the law. The night before he used to go to the gallows, an officer came in and said, Mr. Pease, and he stood up and said, Yes, I'm Mr. Pease, I'm Charlie. Is that a name for a criminal? I'm Mr. Pease. <coughs> Well, he said in the morning, he said, yes, at eight o'clock, I go to the gallows. Put a rope round his neck, put him on a trap door, pull a switch, he drops down there and he's killed quicker than being executed. He never failed. Quarter of eight in the morning, the judge came, the prison governor came in, the prison doctor came in, the hangman who was Pierpoint came in, and a preacher came to say a little prayer. He said a mouldy, miserable little prayer. Then he began to walk towards the scaffold, a little room, he had to go through a door, and Charlie Pease was following, and a man was reading. And suddenly he mentioned hell. Oh yes, he mentioned heaven, about streets of gold and angels and everything. Then he mentioned hell. Charlie Pease reached for the, for the preacher and spun him round and said, What are you reading? Well, he said, I'm reading from a, 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 a book called The Consolations of Religion. Consolations? I'm not concerned about heaven, I'm not going. You just said a minute ago that hell is a bottomless pit. You said that hell is fire that never goes out. You said hell is a death that never dies. Do you mean that when I string on that rope, something goes out of me, away into what you call eternity, and my body goes down into that quick line? That something gets out of me before I get down to the bottom? Are you telling me that I, Charlie Peace, will be eternally burning and never consumed, eternally dying and never die, eternally in the grip of, of death and never feel relief? I'm going to be in eternal agony forever and ever? Well, the preacher says, that's what I was taught at school. I don't care what you were taught, he said. I'm asking you, do you believe in a hell like that, where people never, never, ever die? Uh, well, I, I, I think I do. Where Charlie P. said that was, the city of Leeds is in the middle of England, northern England. Over here you have Liverpool, over there you have Hull. Charlie Pease said, if you covered the, the ground between Hull, uh, Hull and, and uh, Liverpool, thank you. If you covered it with broken glass and made me crawl on my hands and knees, leaving a trail of my own blood behind me, and I could snatch just one man from that eternal hell, I would say, Charlie Pease, you've done well.